of Carly Dillon feels that life is nothing but wine and roses. Lately, though, Carly notices her girlfriend begins to pull away emotionally. With their connection fading, Carly suspects something devious goes on behind her back. Unable to disguise her distress, Carly realizes cheaters may be her only option to gain the truth. I'm Clark Gable, and this is Cheaters. She's a bartender, so I was out one night with some friends and met her, and we just hit it off very well and pretty much inseparable since then. She's my best friend. We've always been very happy and committed to each other. We've never really hid anything from each other until recently. Um, things have been a little bit different. She's just been acting a little strange, secretive, kind of, you know, she's been asking for more time alone and um, almost starting fights for no reason so that she has a reason to leave the house. Trish Hale, age 28, a bartender suspected of serving more than alcohol to the customers. Fully briefed on the details of the case, Cheaters investigators deploy personnel to the home the suspect shares with Carly. Hale leaves her home. The suspect drives across town to a technology store where an unknown male awaits her. I did go through her phone uh, when she was in the shower one day, and I did notice that there were a lot of deleted messages. And then one in particular was from a guy, which was really weird. Um, and it said, you know, they had really good time and um, there's been a couple times that she's come home from work smelling like men's cologne but she does work in a bar so you know i understand maybe she has customers that she hugs and um, try not to be a jealous maniac um, but when i have questioned her about it again it's you're just being paranoid and very defensive and then it gives her a reason to leave the house angry it's it's just beyond me I and mean, we've always talked about everything so openly and for us to just not have any communication going on right now is killing me the pair ends up at a fast food restaurant cheaters detectives notice the familiar way hale has around her mystery man inside the restaurant more intimate behavior takes shape sometime later with uneaten food in hand the suspect and her chaperone leave the joint Hale returns her dinner partner to his place of employment. The secretive, suave suitor kisses the suspect goodbye. As he returns to his store, Hale drives away. You know, now I feel like I, I really don't have anybody to turn to. I mean, I've had a lot of friends turn on me because of my lifestyle change and a lot of family that, you know, that doesn't understand this. She is all I have. You know, where do I go from here? What? She needs to understand that. And if I'm missing something, she really needs to let me know what it is. You know, I'm just stuck out here in this world by myself. I mean, I don't, I don't know where to turn. I don't know who to talk to. And if I found out that there was someone else, I'd be devastated. It's, I mean, I can't go back. Cheaters detectives sit on Trish Hale's house. Long after dark, the suspect makes her move. Hale gets into her car and takes off. The suspect drives across town and arrives back at the store seen previously. Hale's waiting companion, now identified only as Sean, gets into the car. Hale and Sean drive to a nearby convenience store. As they come out, Sean passes to Hale what appears to be a box of latex condoms. Cheaters operatives follow the pair to a secluded part of a movie theater parking lot. Needing more room, the pair climbs into the back seat. Cheaters' cameras capture the entire sordid affair in full glory. Sometime later, with their passion sated for the moment, Hale and Sean return to the front seat. The suspect drives her lover back to his place of employment. Sean gives the suspect a sweet goodnight kiss. Hale drives home to a dejected Carly. With intel from Carly that she stays out of town on business, Cheaters' private eyes stick to the stakeout. Late in the evening, Sean arrives at the house. 
Hill greets her paramour at the door. Although disallowing Sean in the house, the suspect spends some intimate time on the doorstep with her man. After some frisky business, Hale sends her companion home. Cheaters calls an anxious Carly. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that Cheaters concludes the investigation, Carly receives a summons to a client briefing. Disturbed by the possibilities of negative findings, Carly feels apprehensive about viewing the truth. First thing I'd like to say, Carly, is, you know, we really appreciate you coming out on such short notice. I understand you got a lot going on right now, so we'll just get right into this. As you know, we have conducted our investigation. But before I show you what we have come up, I want to forewarn you, you may find some of these things upsetting, disturbing, hard to look at. And if you see something that upsets you, we need to stop at any point in time, that's fine. But it's just to get you the truth about what's going on with Trish and ultimately why she's doing this. Okay. All right? Carly, we start our investigation outside of the home you two share. A few moments later, she emerges, gets into her vehicle, and she leaves. As our detectives follow her, she arrives at a shopping center, parks her vehicle, and picks up that male. Have you ever seen him before? No. Never? No. Okay, well, she picks him up. They leave the shopping center together in her vehicle, and they arrive at a restaurant. We see them walking together, and she has her arm around him. He has her arm around her. So we see the two of them exchange a kiss on the cheek, go into a restaurant together, sitting together, having a meal. They're holding hands, you know, they're kissing a lot, being very comfortable with each other. After finishing up their meal, we see the two of them emerge together. To get back into Trish's vehicle, and she returns him to his workplace. We see him get out of her car, walk over to the driver's side, and give her a kiss. She waves him a friendly goodbye, and he goes back to work. Seeing her do this with this gentleman, I mean, five years of love that you've shared with this girl, not only that, you share a home with her, you share everything with her. I mean, how does that make you feel seeing her do this with just a gentleman that's a complete stranger to you? It's very upsetting. That's understandable. We're gonna find out what's going on here, I promise you. And this day we were outside of Trish and your home. Sometime later, that gentleman arrives. He parks his vehicle, walks up to the door. That's when we see her answer in a dress. She's dressed very nicely. He goes inside split second, they come back out, exchange multiple kisses, you see her leaning into him. During this time, she receives a phone call. Tell me if you can remember this conversation with Trish. Hello, hey baby, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what are you up to? Oh, I'm on my way home. What did you do today? Uh, I went a little bit of the Christmas shopping, and then um, I'm out there and I was about it. How long to you? Um, probably about 20 minutes. She completely lied to you. Then she kisses this gentleman and sends him on his way. With what I've shown you and what you know, how do you feel about this right now? Pissed. I'm pissed. really pissed. The reason why we pulled you from work so quickly and why we had to get out here is because they're actually at your house together right now. What? Yeah, that's why we're here. Are you ready? No, but yes. No, but yes? That's good enough for me. I'll be right by your side and so will everyone else here. You ready to do this? I know it's hard, but I promise you by the end of this day, we will have some answers for you why the hell she's doing this. Ridiculous. Let's go get this done right this way. That's my house right there. Right there? All right, let's pull she's in. She's definitely here. Yep. And there's another Whose car. car. Is that? I have no idea. I've never seen that car before. It's probably his. You ready? Everybody out. Hi, 
Honey, I'm home. What the? What the? Get, who are all these people? Trish, what what's going on? Get off no. me. What's going no, on here? No, no, Trish, get what's going on here? Me. Do not hey, get, get off me. of me. And you sit down, buddy. Get off of me. I want some get answers. Get off of me. Watch who is this place. gentleman? Who is this gentleman, Trish? Get off. It doesn't sit matter. Down. Get off of me. No, I, I really, I'm I really curious. I want some answers. Can I talk to you for a second? Why do you want to put to your clothes on now? Yeah. What's your name, man? Oh, you Did you realize that these two have actually been together for five years and yeah, this is a home they share that. together? No, I know they're roommates, but I didn't know they've been together for five years. She told you they're roommates? Yeah. Really? Oh, we're roommates? So that was that was her, yeah, we're that roommates. was the way that she told you this, Seriously, yeah. this house was uh, shared Don't, by them, roommates? Five years? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, you brought five years with nothing? Coming up, the conclusion. What's going no, on? No, no, they're roommates, but I didn't know they've been together for five years. Oh, we're roommates? You have nothing to say, Trish? I don't know. I mean, you have nothing to apologize about or anything? No, because she's brought all these people in the house. The only reason why we're you here is because you couldn't tell her the truth. You throwing your arms and start talking. Get off of me. Get off of me, seriously. Get Do not. Get off of me. Hey, I have a question. When you took her to buy these Quit. condoms, get you remember this day, Sean? Take Sean, face. Trish, you remember this day? You went and bought What's condoms. This? Condoms? How long have you been sleeping with him? And after that, you're in the back of the car on top How of him. How long? Bitch, don't even talk to me like that. Like, you're so annoying. I've never been in any type of female, so. Then what you know? have you been doing here for five years? So, do you, you swing one way or both ways, or what's the whole, what's this, what's your yeah. answer to this? Hold on, so tell me a second. You're with this girl. So, this is your girlfriend, not your roommate? Five We've years. been in a relationship for five years. We have lived in I mean, this house. If you want to call it a relationship, years. this is bullshit. Man. She's just you know like what? not even. She's she used to be fun to party with, mess around with, whatever. Oh. And then she won a relationship. She needs lots of. And so then you know, did you meet her at the bar? Yeah. Where she works. Yeah. yeah. And how long has this been going on since she won't open her mouth? For like three years, something like that. Three years. Yeah. She seems to have opened three her mouth years. a lot to you. Yeah, three in years. In very different ways. Three years. You guys it's engage in intercourse. Who are you? On a regular basis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. My family just you didn't know. You. Your family just my owned friends. You. No, they didn't. Like seriously, you're just you're over dramatic. Over dramatic. I'm over dramatic. Why are you slurring your words and falling all over the place? Are you okay? We had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks. I don't yeah. see any cups anywhere. I see a soda. Well, we just left the bar. You just left the bar. Sean, did you guys go to the bar? Or is she lying about that too? No, we went to the bar. But... How do you date her for three years and not know she has a girlfriend? Well, I knew your roommates, she... but she, you know, she just said she had this boring roommate. She didn't say anything about like, being like. You did you know, not have to know. Like, he, he, she said, "I wanted to avoid you." Didn't avoid. have to you go about it like... this way. Like that's so what I'm sure. Basically. Like really? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be on she's TV. She's around a whole lot, so you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's serious, TV, it doesn't matter. You deserve an Emmy award. Emmy. Oh well, you and. You want a word for me, bitch. Why are you slurring your words? What's the matter? Did this happen? Was this I just a drug don't mistake? Like all these Who are in my you? Face. Like I don't like all these people in my face. Too bad you like everything in your face, obviously. Yeah, it Except seems like for it. for me. Hey. Seriously, stop it. Skip stop it. Off of me. Stop it. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. So you have nothing to say right now except that you completely lied to the person that you live with and supposedly love, and then you lie to this gentleman right here. I already told you. Like, she gave me a place to live. I needed to finish school. She gave you yeah. a place to live. You needed to finish school, so that's why you're here. You just used yeah. her for five years? Yeah, and then I needed some, you know, so. So that's oh. all I'm going to see you. You're going to take care of her now? Because I'm not. And you show no remorse. Like none. Normally people apologize Nothing. when they do something wrong. Do you not You're know what that means? I don't shallow, feel like I did anything shallow waste of human life. I mean, who is that guy? Some regular at your bar? No. We didn't see each other three years, so I mean. You changed over the How years. can, like, I don't even want to hear that. Who changed? You did. No, I never changed. I was always the same. You ever been always the same? What did I say very, very beginning? No drama. Well, okay, that's the drama queen in there. What I, yeah. I obviously didn't ask for all this. No, you just lied about all of it and played with a human being's feelings and screwed over someone else too, in the whole process. And you used them both. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Like I know. 
I plan to leave her for you, you know what I mean? So this whole thing is pointless, this whole, you know, anyway. Well, I don't whatever, know what to say to you. Yeah, whatever, I know, I agree. Yeah, okay. whatever, that's exactly what I say too, whatever, no, just, whatever. Just it. Just stop yeah, it. No, well, listen, you know what? Just you stop go. it. It's have, not that serious. Okay, well, I hope you have a good time in school. Take care. Harley. I apologize. I'm sorry. Like, it was, it was a messed up thing to do. I had to do what I had to do. Like, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Just get all these cameras out of my face, like. That's all you care about the cameras when she's sitting next to you in tears. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I care about because this is like ridiculous. You need I'm ready to, get to leave. I'm ready to you leave. and your boyfriend. Uh, and don't, don't even stop. Don't, don't, don't even stop talking. Don't even start talking. You need to have it gone quick. I'll get it gone when I get it gone. Okay? No, you won't have it gone when you get get it gone because it will be out in the freaking street. Whatever, Carly. This. <laughs> This is just so stupid. Like, no, you're stupid. It's no, stupid, you're stupid. I'm actually pretty smart. You're you're not smart at smart all. Smart enough to yeah. get caught. Smart enough to get what I wanted, what I needed. It looks like you're leaving the what you want and what you need right now. No, I don't need her. All right. See ya. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Whatever, Carly. Just go on being a loser. It's ultimately up to you. What do you want to do, Carly? This is your this is your deal. We're here for you. I think I'll stay. All right. Keep an eye on things. Make Where's sure. my car keys? Just right. in case I can leave. Perfect example. Here right. you go. Boss. Yeah, pretty much. Bossed your ass around five years. And you're walking out the door homeless. I'm not homeless. Soulless. That might be true. Y'all can stop following me now. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm really sorry about all this, but I think that everything will be work out and be fine. All right? If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of us. All right. All right, let's load up and get out of our house, guys. Here's some peace and quiet for once. Let's load up. They start to wander. This fate is one that Gabby Dolans never thought she'd have to face. Now, her husband's behavior has her nervous. Recently, he's decided to change his wardrobe and dye his hair while neglecting the needs of his wife and family. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. One of the things that I just really always appreciated of his, as him as a husband is he was so attentive to me. He would bring me flowers um, for no reason, and, and when I was upset, he, would, he was a really good listener. He would listen to me. And lately, I'm just not really sure what's been going on, and uh, frankly, I'm just really confused. He hasn't been around. He's been working a lot more, uh, staying late. He has been um, in the bathroom on his computer a lot, and I can, you know, usually grab his phone and, and see what's going on, like, you know, you texting your brother or what's going on. And, but he's put a password on there. He's locked his phone and just, you know, not giving me access to what I used to have access to. Um, I, I love Eric a lot, and I want our marriage to work, and I want us to get back on track to wherever, uh, to where we were going. I, I don't know... Um, how he feels, what would happen to our family and to, to our marriage. Um, but I think it's really important that I know and that I definitely know the truth. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Richard Dolans, age 39, a designer suspected of needing virus protection for his hardware. Investigation day three. After being briefed on the facts of the case, field agents make a positive ID of suspect Richard Dolans as he exits work for the evening. Mr. Dolans jumps into his family's SUV and leads mobile units to an unknown apartment complex. A ground agent catches Gabby's husband receiving a warm welcome from an unknown female. A short time later, the couple exit the apartment and enter the suspect's vehicle. 
Mobile unit stick close to Dolan's as he pulls into the corner convenience store and strides up to the DVD kiosk. The two spend quite some time trying to decide which movie to watch. They finally make a selection, and judging from her enthusiasm, the companion's choice won out. They make their way back to the giddy girlfriend's apartment and appear to be having quite a good time in each other's company. Dolan's and his fellow cinephile remain in the cozy confines of her apartment for about two hours before Dolan's finally emerges and returns to his wife for the rest of the evening. Investigation Day 5. Pressing for more hard evidence, Cheater's investigators follow procedure and wait for movement at Dolan's office building. Apparently not wanting to continue the evening in his suit and tie, the suspect changes into more stylish threads. Mobile units track the middle-aged hipster to a shopping center. He parks his car in front of a jewelry store and enters. The objective for his errand becomes apparent once ground units recognize the companion from previous surveillance, identified only as Vani, behind the cases. After the last patron leaves, Dolan's makes one final purchase before closing time. Vani is overjoyed once learning the necklace is for her and wastes no time having it fastened about her neck. She admires herself in the mirror and then thanks her benefactor with a hug and a kiss. After locking up, the pair return to the parking lot. Vani throws herself into Dolan's and the two share a passionate kiss beside his car. They finally break away from one another, but not for long. They follow each other to Vani's apartment and walk hand in hand inside where they remain for quite some time. Eventually, Dolan's returns to his car and goes home for the remainder of the evening. Investigation Day 8. Having followed the suspect from his workplace, agents on duty observe Dolan's and his heart's desire exiting her home and getting into his car. Mobile units track the couple across town to an arcade palace. Apparently still young at heart, Dolan's and Vani choose a variety of games to play in the expansive facility. While Dolan's loses at air hockey, his phone suddenly rings. He declines to answer, but quickly excuses himself and goes outside to return the call. While Dolan's life is currently all fun and games, it's his wife who's on the losing end, as evidenced in this recorded phone call. Hey, baby, where are you? I'm still at work. I told you, it's going to be a long night, all right? I'm probably going to be here all day, tomorrow, and all night tonight. With enough evidence to close the case, agents convene at headquarters to begin assembling the footage for Gabby's evaluation. Coming up, the confrontation. With ample proof of her husband's philandering, Cheater summons Gabby to review the impropriety. Warily anticipating the final verdict, Gabby prepares herself for the unveiled truth. Gabby, our detectives have compiled a file based on Eric's activities. Are you prepared to review their findings at this point? As our investigation begins this evening, at the close of the business day, he exits and was followed to an apartment complex. He's followed inside, knocked on a door. A young lady answered. They greet each other with a kiss. He goes inside. A short time later, they exit. From there, they grab a DVD. We can see the two of them spending a brief, intimate moment. They return back to her apartment. And about an hour and a half to two hours later, he exits the apartment and leaves. And Gabby, on this day, we were again at Eric's office. 
close a business, he comes out, goes to the parking area, has a change of clothing inside his vehicle. From there, he traveled to a strip mall, goes into a jewelry store. Working at the same jewelry store was the young lady that we've previously seen him spending time with. Now she looks to be preparing to close the store, but at the same time, it appears that he purchases and presents her with a trinket. At that point, they follow one another back to her residence, spend a significant amount of time there before Eric exits and returns home. We've been able to confirm that this evening he is again in the company of the same young woman. And they're at a place not very far from here called the Down Under Pub. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. That bar? Yeah. I'm going to call my detective and make sure that they're still there. And then we'll move on from there, okay? Hey. Are they still there? They're still there. Okay. We're minutes away. Gabby, you know, we're pulling up here right now. And he's in here? He's in there, yeah. We'll be able to find out soon enough. Everybody out, everybody out, right now. Where they at? They're out back. They're playing pool. They're way, okay. All, all the, the way, way in the back. back? All the way in the all back. All right. Damn it! Damn you, mother... What the hell are you doing? What is going on? What is happening? What am I doing? What is going on? Coming up, the conclusion. He is again in the company of the same young woman. What is happening? Who the hell are you? Damn it. I don't want to be here right now. I don't even want to be here. This is what... And I'm just playing a game of pool. Why are you in my face? Why? Why? So were you just playing a game the night that you went to her apartment and stayed there? You What's wrong with you? 
like she's right in my face. Believe you did this. What did I do? I played a game of pool. I played a game of pool. I played a game of pool. That's all I did. How about the nights that you went to this girl's apartment? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, la jeu commence. The nights that you went to this girl's apartment. What are you talking about? We followed you after work. We saw that. Why are you following me? Because we were hired to. Because you were lying. That's why. You want me to break it down? Hey, Eric. You want me to show you? Or do you want to tell the, your wife the truth? Do I need to? Show me. And what gives you the right to do anything? You know, we got hired by your wife because she wasn't happy with the way your relationship was going. I don't know what's going on, and I don't know if you need to know. Your car, dude. You should be following me. Oh, Who the now. hell do you think you are? Oh, oh, now it's an issue. Now it's an issue? You are embarrassing. You, look what you're doing to her. Who am I? Oh, now you're worried about embarrassing her. Now you're worried about her. You are the one embarrassing her. Look. I'm not. You're embarrassing her. What do you know about our life? That. That's, that's all know. you know about our life. That's what I know. That is all you know about our life. Well, you know what? If you don't like it, fix it. You destroy everything. What am I I've destroying? I've seen your show. What am you I come destroying? in and you destroy everything. What am I destroying? The relationship, everything. The relationship that you're oh, lying. Oh, you're going, you're going for the damn ratings. That's all you care about is hey, the ratings. I'm here about the truth, man. No, you're that's about... Right. Am I lying? Then tell me I'm lying. Baby, baby. Then tell me I'm lying. Baby. baby. Baby, I love oh you. Gosh, you knew what was going on. Baby, I love you. <laughs> See what you're doing to her? No, you've done this. I haven't done this to her. You did this to her. Come on. No, you're not hey. taking. Don't, don't touch my wife. Hey, don't touch him. Don't touch me. Don't touch him. This is my wife. Yeah, don't touch him. <laughs> you think you scare me? <laughs> I was Marine Corps, okay. bitch. You don't scare me. You ain't got on me. Gabby. <laughs> what do you want to do? Want to oh my go? God. Baby, I will take you home. <laughs> no. Baby. I will take you home. You're not going home with this. No. Oh, no. What? what? No. No. I'm done. I'm done. Why? Why I'm are you done? done? Why are you done? <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> Baby, please. Get these cameras <laughs> out of my face. No. Baby, no. I love you. Dad, get out. Get out of my face. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. easy guys, settle down. Everybody, settle down. Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. Gabby. I'll see you at home. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Get her out of here. Can we go? I want to go. You'll always be <laughs> mine. Go. That's my wife. Stop keeping me from my wife. You think you guys got something on me? I'm a damn Marine. I'll take both you bitches out. <laughs> Get out of my face. Really? One of you bitches want some? Come on, mother. <laughs> That's what I thought. Mother. <laughs> Oh my god, it hurts so much. Okay, I know. Oh. Now everybody's gonna know. Everybody's gonna know. Who are you worried about? You don't need to be worried about it. Everybody's gonna know. God, I did not want this to be real. I did not want it to be true. I didn't want it to be true.
Thank you. 